So we're going to look at what I do as far as regular maintenance for my PC, the standards like that. The first thing I always do is I do a disk cleanup. Disk cleanup, go in here, make sure everything's checked, clean up system files, main drive. I don't do it on my backup drives, obviously. Now this right here, this Windows Update Log Files, I'm telling you right now, there I've had a problem in the past where after Windows has done a new version and updates, where I've actually deleted that, and then I ran into problems. So I never delete that anymore. It's not that many files. But what you might see above this sometimes is like Windows Update uh, to some gigabytes. I you remove that. I haven't seen any problems with that. Um, this is pretty much what I do standard every time. Actually, every night. I do this every night, real quick. Um, pretty much. There's other things I do, but this is going to be the main basic. So I do a disk cleanup. The reason I do a disk cleanup is because why would you want to do a virus scan and scan a bunch of files that you could just delete beforehand? So you delete all the files I don't want, then I'll do a virus scan. So um, CC and Cleaner is something I've used for years. I mean, originally... I used to use PCPitStop.com and went by the wayside. It used to be sponsored by CompUSA stores, um, but it went by the wayside and had some problems running sometimes. So I've gone to the CC Cleaner and I've used the basic one with the free version for a lot of years. And then I switched over and decided to just buy it. It's easier to keep it updated and things like that. And um, what I'll do is I don't do the health check. I'll just do the custom scan so I, kn I know what's being scanned. Um, you can analyze it or just run it. But you can set it up. See, there's a lot of a lot of files that can be easily cleaned. That that's just from running for a few hours, going on the internet and things like that. A lot of files can pile up. And if you have something like a M.2 SSD, which is smaller, like I used to run like a 512 for a lot of years. This this is important to do regularly to free up all that space. Um, I have two terabyte now, so it's not as important, but it is good. And then another thing, registries scanning is good to get rid of files that are no longer needed, helps the computer run um, faster, things like that. Did I even do that right? I wasn't looking at it. Um, sometimes what you want to do is you want to run it maybe twice. Um, and that's about it. Now there's some tools in here I use like that and that might be as far as like looking through different programs just to see what's in here that I may not be using stuff like that and uninstall them. Um, there's also pretty much what is it? cookies which um, I remove the cookies and only keep a few that I need so I don't have to keep going back and verifying with my cell phone that I've need to use them. Then another thing I'll do is I'll do a virus scan. So and then I'll just run a scan. I'll probably do a full scan, but right now I'm just gonna do a quick scan. And um there's a lot of options to do in Norton and um mainly with Norton I mean I've been using it for free. If you have Comcast you get it for free. And um, I paid for it for years. I did do start out with McAfee, and um, I always found problems with McAfee. And I switched to Norton. And I found it was quicker, and um, I had less problems. Now, one of the things to be careful with Norton is to do if you're going to do a registry scan with Norton and have it clean out registries, it might take something out you don't want if you're not familiar with your files. So I'd recommend not using it and just using the CC Cleaner. Also, the CC Cleaner you can do a backup, which I didn't do because I. I know it's good for now and I have a backup before that and you can back the registry up before you remove it that's kind of helpful but um, I only recommend not backing your registry up if you don't know what you're doing pretty much for the most part and um, some of the other things also that help free up space is go in here and go into your system protection now I do run this on system restore but what I do is I reduce it down to bare minimal I mean I don't need that many restore points and this is going to be something that it'll save you a lot of space. Um, and another thing is also like with my backup drive, I don't have it on. It's just not needed. The backup drive is already backed up. 
and then um, one of the main things I found is system restore points they don't really get rid of everything or correct everything on a problem you want to do usually the best thing to do is to do what I call a system image or they call a system image and um, let me see here it's under control panel I just back up and restore right here just create a system image and um, I'll do this minimal once a month and you can see the last backup I did was only about three days ago and um, this is gonna be your biggest save out of anything like that and if you run into any problems and you can try your system restore but it's probably not gonna work 99% of the time you can do a system image and you can restore everything exactly back to the last date and I'll tell you what that's the best thing to do um, it also you can format your drive right before you re-system image it which is good to clean anything up that might be on there typically not but it's still a good thing to do and that's just kind of what I wanted to cover for basic system maintenance um, also one of the main things is, is look at too is typically which I already did a little before I kind of shot the video but as window update you can see I did it probably about 30 minutes ago as I'll usually do this first before I do any of the steps I showed you but not always um, that way if there's files in there that need to be deleted I can delete them before I go ahead and do a full-length virus scan also there's a scan you can do with Norton which is which is pretty good but um, this power race and what I would do is with the power race is if you scan for risk right here you're going to reboot and it's going to do a scan it actually can take away a file or two you might need if it's something like a new update from windows or something like that um this one's pretty safe right here and it's pretty quick but yeah so i mean if you want to maintain your pc keep things sped up save some space and do the main things i showed in the basics but avoid those couple issues i told you and you won't have any problems and um, I'd especially recommend getting a external drive and making a system engine and backing it up. It's the best thing you can ever do. I mean, even if you were to re install Windows, you have an option to restore that system image and it'll put back to everything you want. It's also a good idea if you're going to rebuild your PC and do it to use it because that way you can keep from having to reinstall Windows and all those options like that. And I think that's about it. And typically, um, this is pretty quick with the 5, 512 SSD and M.2 it's really quick 1 terabyte it's still fairly quick when you go to 2 terabyte and you got a lot of information on it it takes a little bit longer it's kind of annoyance I've had with the 2 terabyte drives I'm running now is that having more games to test and scan um, things take a little bit longer versus what I'm used to but I, I do uninstall a few games that I don't test for a while like Battlefield 1 I haven't touched it for a long time it's 150 gigabytes just don't install it you're not using it especially if you have Steam um, Epic or Origin just if you got a games that you don't play uninstall them and then if you ever need them you just open up Origin just click install and that's it and it'll save you a lot of space I mean a lot of games these days are 50 to 150 gigabytes that's a lot of space and if you're not going to play it a lot that's it but um i mean i just trying to help out freeing up some you know some of you guys you got the 512 drives and things like that doing this regularly um and optimizing the drives is also good one thing to show right now too is that um i do optimize the drives but right now with windows build uh, 2004 um I've, I've had some issues with some software and the samsung software is not keeping track of when it was last optimized so it's something that'll be patched and fixed pretty soon probably and that's about it you guys probably don't need to see the rest of this but i figured this would be a helpful video